Well, a few weeks ago, News 8 brought you an exclusive sneak peek of Muscatine's Mammoth Watermelon. This is a giant metal art installation that finally made the move today to the city's riverfront. Here to talk about all of this is Muscatine Mayor Dr. Brad Bark. Okay, I have to ask, what is it like to finally see this thing up on the riverfront? It's an amazing thing to have this up on the riverfront. It was about four and a half months of planning. Uh, the first talk of it was March 31st uh, with a local business, and here we are. Now we have it on our riverfront, which looks amazing. I was able to drive up and down the riverfront, and just seeing this mammoth of a watermelon is great. You know, this process really did move quite fast, especially considering how many people were involved. Talk about this. I think this is really cool. It doesn't cost taxpayers anything for this watermelon. That, that's absolutely correct, Shelby. So what happened is we have 19 entities that uh, basically uh, financially or in kind donations was able to uh, make uh, the watermelon, the, get the metal, the paint, the manufacturing, the fabrication, uh, the building of the foundation component of it as well. And uh, just all the logistics with lighting it up and um, you know getting the electrical to the watermelon. It's just been a wonderful teamwork. And this is what happens in a, in a town. When you have people working together, that's what makes us vibrant here in Muscatine. I love that. For people watching at home, it looks really big behind you, but it's still really hard to show <laughs> the scale unless you're there in person. Let me just say this stat really yeah. fast. This thing is 40 feet long and it weighs eight tons. I have to ask, does this exceed yes. your expectations? It exceeds the expectation. The big thing we were trying to do is just try to go a little bit bigger than uh, Australia at 29 and a half feet long by nine feet tall. And as you can see, 40 feet long, 16 feet tall, eight tons. And you know, the tip top of that part up there is uh, 26 feet. So it, it's, it definitely exceeds our expectations and just the art's great. Johan did a wonderful job. That is the local artist he's talking about. Really quickly, Mayor, what do you hope this melon yes. will do for Muscatine? I hope it continues just to bring people down to our riverfront. These boats that come in, uh, the, sh the ships that come in to, to offload people to want to shop downtown, they're gonna be able to see this watermelon walking up and down the riverfront on our wonderful 15 miles of trails. We'll just add to the vibrancy. So very thankful for everybody a part of this. And I want to thank WQAD also for just taking time to do this. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for being with us here today. We'll hear more about this story later, because of course, that's not all we had on this watermelon. Not only did we document its entire journey to the riverfront, we also sent up the News 8 drone and put a camera on the train car carrying it. We'll have all that footage, as well as our full story on the melon, coming up in less than an hour on News 8 at 5.